Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, Ben, Josh, and Quaker. How are we this evening? I was just watching uh, Eric's uh, video before, and he was waxing lyrical about uh, Solani aged burly flake. Look how ridiculous these labels have got. They've got to put their own printed uh, label on it because you can't see the original label. It gets ridiculous. Happy birthday, Quaker. Good for you, Josh. Right, so we've um, left this out to dry a bit. And I'm gonna smoke it. I'm glad to hear that, uh, Josh. I haven't smoked it in a while. I've been on a binge of McClellan's recently, as you probably know. So I'm going to smoke it in the former. Any of you guys tried this uh, aged burly flake? I'm so not into burlies, but we'll see. Um, Eric's a good, good, good bloke, and he's recommended it, so I'm going to try it again. I've tried it a couple of times. Corvette Jim Piper. Making a right mess of this, never mind. Elwood Maker is here. Thank you for joining. Quite like the idea of a Savonelli Bing or a, one of those kind of type. Chucha Brad, how you doing? Um, quite fancy to try one of those pipes one day. So many pipes that you want to try, so it just gets a bit crazy. All right, let's see what this is like. Beardless Gnome Joe is in the house. How you doing, Joe? A pipe tree. So, according to blue collar Eric, this tastes like peanut butter, so here's hoping. Three, what's that? Yeah, I don't mind peanuts. Let's see if we get it. So I hope you've all brought your uh, money clips with you tonight.
Oh, right. Sorry, that's not something I'm familiar with. Joe? I don't remember what I smoked in this pipe last, so I'm not sure if I'm getting a legacy flavour. Well, this is what it tastes like. How's that for an attractive backdrop? I'm not really getting it, to be honest. I mean, it's okay. Nothing wrong with it, but... Can't say I'm getting peanuts. It's a bit like the uh, recording that's been going viral of Yanni and um, what's the other name? Well, Eric request tonight's your night, possibly. You know that recording that people hear differently? There's two names, Yanni and something else. I don't remember the other name. Does anybody remember it? No, yeah. So my, my, um, I heard it first time uh, a few a couple of weeks back. And to me, I heard Laurel the first time I heard it. And then after that, I started to hear Yanni. Tonight, my son, my 23-year-old son, he played it again, and I only heard Laurel. And he played it again and again and again and again. And I heard Laurel every single time. And he was standing next to me. My little girl, who's 10, was standing next to me. And they all heard, heard Yanni every single time. And my little 10-year-old didn't know about it before, so she didn't even know what the name was. My other son, my older son, knew, so I could, you know, might have said he was playing along. But my girl, my 10-year-old, hadn't heard about the whole thing. And she said Yanni straight away, so it is a weird one. So I'm thinking that tobacco flavours are, but could be the same. Our palates just get different perceptions of flavour. Because I ain't getting no peanuts. Quest, you got a chance to get two here. Some Dorchester, which is a very nice uh, vapor, and an eight ounce bag of Hastings. Well, all of these Satericas, which have toppings on them, you could call them aromatics, but they're generally with a light touch, the aromatics. They're not aromatics like uh, over the counter aromatics. So, purpose of tonight's video, as no doubt you know, is to try and raise some much needed funds for our friend on the YTPC, Danny Shaw. I'm sure most of you have come across his videos up by now. And um, Ben, the bagged piper, he's doing a raffle at the moment, which I, I think he's already got four videos out about the raffle, and I only came to it on the third video, and I offered to send some stuff, and I didn't realise he was virtually at the end. And it turns out he's already got uh, 70 or 80 
uh, raffles sold already. And I just felt if I chuck in my bit, my tuppence worth, they weren't really accrue the value or it would be a wasted opportunity basically because um, it's already pretty much reached its target um, and I really wanted these to get as much uh, financial benefit for uh, Danny as possible so we agreed that I'll um, sell these, auction these off separately so that's what we're here tonight for so it's not just about the value of this merchandise the tobaccos and the pipe um, it's also about helping out a friend. So I'd ask you, respectfully, to uh, have that in mind when you make your bids. So, um, we're now quarter past 12. I might be getting some peanuts coming through, actually. It's a nice enough blend, it just doesn't talk to me very much. It doesn't speak to me. I am getting peanuts through actually. More of, of an aftertaste. A little bit dry on the palate. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll see how the rest of the bowl goes. So, how long should we leave this? Um, I think we should put a time limit on it, otherwise it just gets a little bit uh, ridiculous. I'm smoking at the moment some Solani aged burly flake. So should we say um, we put a limit of uh, half an hour, does that make sense to people? Or should we do shorter or longer? Well, all we're going to do is, at some point I'm going to say we're going to start the bidding with a certain amount and then everybody can just freely bid increased bids as we go along and we'll just call a time a time and the highest bid at that time wins. The Solani Silver Flake, um, I enjoyed it. The um, yeah, one, once I call it, once I start the time off, uh, Elwood, um, one million pound. Yeah, okay. The, seriously though, uh, serious bids. No, no monkey business. Um, yeah. So once we start the bidding, then um, I think half an hour. Does that make sense to people? We okay. Cheers, Quaker. Cheers, Ben. But I'll be looking forward to your genuine bid. Okay, so we're now quarter past twelve here in the UK. So we're going to go to a quarter to one. And I'm looking for a starting bid of a hundred pounds. We're going to be starting in in sterling in, in English money. Um, so eight ounce bag of Esoterica Hastings Dorchester Vintage Syrian Blood Red Moon. Mixture 965 and a vintage Orlick gold uh, or gold slice, a vintage Josh. Thank you very much. We have a hundred pounds. Any more bids than a hundred pounds? hundred pounds going to Josh. hundred pounds, hundred pounds, hundred pounds, hundred pounds. Any more? hundred pounds. Anyone? We have a hundred pounds dead center with Josh. Anyway, so I mean, we don't have to literally be bidding every second. Anybody who wants to... Uh... Hi Jim. Um... Look, the value is clearly there, so you know, if you want to try and buy a bag of Esoterica 8 ounce bag on the market, retail, if you can find it, you're luckily enough to find it, you know, you'll pay anywhere between 40 and 60, 70 dollars for a bag 
but when you're buying it, and that's very difficult to do, so if you're buying it on the market, on the secondary market, you'll pay 80, 100 dollars, something like that, just for the esoterical bag. So I don't want to do the whole spiel every few minutes, you know, trying to sell it, but the value is there. So you've got easily 80 dollars there. Dorchester is going to be another, what, 25 dollars, say? Mixture 965, 17, 18 dollars. Perhaps ten, fifteen dollars, and the vintage Syrian again. So, thank you, Elwood. One hundred and ten pounds with Elwood makeup. And I'm forgetting the pipe. Obviously, the pipe's got some value as well. Obviously, it's a nine mil pipe, but it doesn't have to be smoked as a nine mil. <coughs> so um, the silver flake, Solani silver flake. I definitely enjoyed it more the second time I smoked it, after I jarred it up. Um, I was uh, had a video chat with Eric, blue collar smoker, earlier on today, and we were talking about the merits of jarring up um, uh, Virginia flakes. And in my experience, in my limited experience, I've always found uh, Virginia's to improve flakes at least to improve in the jar with a little bit of airing every so often definitely seen that myself and um, I smoked some full Virginia flakes from Samuel go with uh, full Virginia flake earlier on and I jarred that let's have a look so I jarred that in January 2018 so we're six months near enough and it is markedly improved from when I first opened the tin. I'm not sure if the same applies with other tobaccos. Maybe it's just not, I haven't had the experience, but um, it, to me, it seems like wine. Wine straight out of the bottle and then decanted or wine, which has um, sat in your glass for a little bit and had a chance to oxygenate a little bit is better. Obviously, needless to say, they're all sealed. I'll just have a look at the dates on these. I did show them in the video earlier. This tin is, um, I bought in 2016, August 2016, so it's almost two years. Thank you, Eric. Um, so it's with Eric at 120 at the moment, 120 pounds. Um, it says Dunhill Mixture 965 from 2016. Cult, I suppose the date doesn't really matter very much for this aromatic. January 16, two and a half years. This one I dated to August 17. So there we go, August 17. And this one is also August 17. So they've all got a little bit of time on them. And this one, although I haven't, I don't know the date, um, I'm reckoning on around the 1950s. Um, it's a very nice apple grape, it's got some nice grain on it. Um, as I say, it's in mint condition, I've smoked it literally maybe twice. Twice, uh, if, if three times, maybe, 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 but it's probably just been twice. I will polish up the bit. Um, as I said on the video, it is a 9mm, but it's an interesting 9mm because you put the filter in the stem rather in, in the shank rather than the stem. Um, but it can be smoked as it is, without a filter if that's your preference. You can put a, an adapter in, as you can with any 9mm pipe. Okay, said the man who said he wasn't going to do any shtick. Did anybody see Padre Piper's video about matches 
I didn't get it. I've obviously missed something. It's obviously an American thing. Yeah, something about a D and a P or a something, I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's some kind of uh, company or business or something, which is, I don't know, didn't get it. Right over my head. Nice cigar fan. As uh, Peanuts would say. Meow. Over my head. I guess so quicker. Oh, here we go, Elwood. IHOP is a diner, International House of Pancakes. Okay. And the punchline is... So what, it's going to be International House of Breakfast. Uh, yeah, oh, that bit I did get, actually. So, well, okay. Burgers. Well, that's certainly big news. Pancakes or burgers. So is, is, is the IHOP in the same realms as a uh, Mackey D's? Right. I call them Mackey D's. Not that I frequent them because they're not kosher, but um, I can't imagine any of that stuff is particularly healthy. Not that I'm a health freak. See what I mean? Cigar fan, I would recommend. There's a particular pipe company called Orlick. And wouldn't you believe it, I happen to have one right here. And it's going for the very, very reasonable sum of £150 and I throw in all of that tobacco with it as a starter pack. That's until somebody outbids you. Speaking of jokes, I have just come across the hilarity of Don Rickles in the last few days. I've been binging on um, his clips on YouTube. Funny man. Hadn't heard of him until uh, recently. Yeah, <laughs> the late. Mm. 
Well, that's the beauty of uh, YouTube. You're never too late. Well, the chocolate I'm eating now is filled with strawberry cream. So any taste that I was having on that, any peanuts I was getting, I'm not getting any more. Well, he's not sharp anymore, but he certainly was. He's probably quite dull by now. Hmm. Or as um, on uh, Have I Got News For You, it was Set Latter for the English people amongst you. What was he, the um, chief exec of, was it European football or the EU? I can't remember. Sorry, Eric, you've lost me. Who's any young one? Oh, Josh, I've just had a look at your message earlier on. In America, we put salt in our milk. Seriously? Milton Belt, never heard of him either. Mm, I'll have to have a look at that. Does anybody know if this um, aged salami flake is heavy on nicotine? I'm feeling a little bit of a nicotine hit, and that's quite rare for me these days. and bees, how are you doing? Anybody who's joined us in the last few minutes? At the moment, this little lot here is at 120 pounds. And there's only 14 minutes to go, people. I'm very well, Pipes and Bees, thank you for asking. Right, let's do away with that aged burly flake. Not enjoying it at all. Pipes etc. has joined us. The bidding at the moment is £120. A veritable bargain. If you buy this lot at 120 pounds, it leaves you enough room to buy yourself another pipe somewhere else. And to buy Eric's car. Well, that was a quick smoke of the burly flake. Did not enjoy that. I'm not sure if I want to smoke anything now.
Passion for Smoke Top Star. Wow, long time no see. How are you doing? No, Josh, I don't. I've given it all to you. That's what I've got left of the fog, of the current batch. But I tell you what, I've been enjoying the uh, McClellan's Virginia so much that I haven't even been smoking the fog. Um, the problem is if I keep on this way, it won't last very long. I've managed to uh, top it up a little bit. Um, Wolf Valley Boy, Tim, has uh, sold me a couple of tins of 40th anniversary and a small tin of Virginia Woods. And there was something else, I don't remember, maybe British Woods, I can't remember. So it would be good. Right, people, we have 10 minutes left. We're looking for. Uh, an improvement on 120 pounds. We can bid in five pounds as well. I'll take a bid of five pounds. Do I hear five? Well, what we have is top star is we have an 8 ounce bag of Esoterica Hastings 50 gram tin of, of Dunhill 965 a 50 gram tin of Cult Blood Red Moon a 50 gram tin of Vintage Syrian HH McBaron and roughly 60 grams of uh, Pipe Briar Sucker for accuracy. Yes, look, top quality cardboard. You can have that as well with the old uh, coffee suds there as well. The bid's at 120 pounds, Smoky Mo. Oh, I was wrong. It's 46 grams. Added bonus, people, you get a lightweight pipe, perfect for clenching, won't strain your jawbone. What can I say? It won't drag your pocket down, whether you have it in your breast pocket, in your trouser pocket, or in your pipe case on your hip. Come on, what a bargain. I'll tell you what, people. Um, this is a very favourite uh, piece of, um, of my desk. If the bidding hits £150, the dog goes with. Alright, can't say fairer than that. <clears throat> well, $160 is still less than the value there, without a doubt. And like I said all the time, this is not just about the value. Although, you know, you obviously want to get a deal. But this is also about helping our good friend, Danny. One hundred percent of your bid goes to Danny Shaw. 
and I throw in the postage. And one my last bit of chocolate, people. And we have six minutes to go. This lighter is a Maraman, it's a Japanese lighter, it's a vintage lighter, which I picked up at the Rati sale. I like it because it gives a very good action. It's very, very well built. If you're familiar with the old boy style, this is a little bit smaller, but very well built, quite weighty. Why is who selling a lot of his gear? Me or uh, Danny Shaw? Yeah, Danny unfortunately has had uh, some medical um, expenses. He's, uh, I think he's had some brain surgery. Um, or he has to have brain surgery, I'm not sure whether he's had it or not. Um, but uh, yeah, his medical bills are uh, really hitting him hard. So anything we can do to help him out? That's what we're here for, people. So the bid at the moment is still 120 pounds with um, Eric. Pipes and Spirits. Art, thank you very much for your bid. £125 we are bid. Much appreciated. And in acknowledgement of our largely American audience tonight, we are going to smoke some first responders because you are the first responders to uh, this auction. A smooth blend this. Don't know if you guys have tried it. It's nice. No, we're gonna smash that Soren Riffberg. Smoked it once today already, but we're on a quest to break this pipe in. Thank you, Eric. Much appreciated. Three minutes to go, people. Quaker, I wouldn't go anywhere if I were you. The sale will pop. Ben, put a sock in it, will you? There's a good lad. <laughs> ben, I'll have to evict you from the auction room. Thank you, Art. Just a reminder, so full transparency, we're bidding in pounds, okay? Just so that you're aware. Because you came on a bit late, uh, Art. I'm going to make sure you're aware of it.
Yes, Jim, this is it. This is the auction. There's two minutes left. Jim, instead of rogering that, how about a bid? You can do your rogering later. To celebrate the purchase of some nice tobacco and a pipe. One forty one. Seriously? Fives, please. Quaker has his popcorn. You've got one minute left, Quaker. We're at £140. Jim, you going to go to 145? Do I hear 145? 145, anyone? If we get to 150, the dog is included. 150, Eric. Well done. We're at 150. Anyone, quickly? One fifty going once. One sixty art, thank you very much. One sixty, one sixty going once. One hundred and sixty five pounds, Eric, thank you very much. Eric. It's all right, Jim, don't worry. <laughs> all taken in good uh, spirit. And talking of spirits, Pipe and Spirits comes in at the eleventh hour. £170 bid for the pipe, the tobacco, the dogs included. 180 Eric, thank you. I'm just trying to see if I can throw something else in to make it, uh, to, uh, make it a little bit more palatable. Okay, people, I'm adding this in. Balkan Blue, no longer available. McClellan's, 2015. As long as the bids continue, I'll let, I'll let it continue. Obviously, this is all to raise in some money. So, Eric's in the house. Eric, we're at 190 pounds at the moment. I've added another tin, a McClellan's tin. We're at 200 from Eric, thank you very much. So this is what we're bidding on at the moment. We have the Esoterica, Hastings, Dorchester, Vintage Syrian, Cult Blood Red Moon, Mixer 965, and now an additional tin of 2015 Balkan Blue. If you're a Latakia lover, this is the star. For me, this is the best of the bunch, but that's my personal uh, preferences. Oh. And the little woofy is included now as well. Thank you, Elwood. Good evening, Michael. Long time no speak. I hope you're well. Any more bits, people? Quaker, he's always scared of the dog.
Okay, I'm going to chuck in another tin just to sweeten things a little bit more. Let's get some more onion, please, for Danny. I'm going to throw in a tin of Ashton Artisans blend. If the bid tops 200, this goes in. And I think I'll have to leave it at that because uh, I'm going to be clearing out my tobacco cellar. 200 pounds is a steal for this, an absolute steal. Uh, this is definitely worth another 50 quid, no question. Of anybody's money. I don't know which uh, Latakira it is. Don't know. Anybody? Anybody want to beat 200? Let's get this to 210, 215, and I'll throw this in. Hi, Phil. How are you? Have you been following? Syrian and Cyprian, the best of both worlds. What more could you ask for? I think that makes the value just a little bit more. Well, Phil, just to recap, the bidding at the moment is £200 sterling. And we have a bag, an 8-ounce bag of Esoterica Hastings, HH, Vintage Syrian, Dorchester, Dunhill 965, Cult Blood Red Moon, possibly Artisan's Blend, and the pick of the bunch, Balkan Blue, for my taste anyway. And of course, we keep forgetting this pipe, this apple pipe. Apples make you wiser. An apple pipe by Orlik, an original Orlik pipe. So come on now, do I hear 220? Phil, you don't have to take the tobacco, just bid. I'll keep the tobacco, but just bid. Let's get to 220 so that we can send Danny some money. Oh, shush, Josh, you have to put a downer on it. <laughs> Such a grump, that man. At least you live up to your name, Josh. Have you noticed, Josh, how I've remembered your name now? Because it cost me a pipe last time. So Jewish. I don't know what the Hasting tastes like, but you can find out. Um, well, actually, at the moment, you will find out by the way things are standing. If you like, I can open the bag and taste it for you and let you know. Would you like me to do that? Once you've paid, obviously. It's esoterica, so you can pretty much rely on it that it's going to be decent. I'm not sure if I've had it before. Primitive, that's me, through and through, Ben. Tell you what, with all these fancy lighters, <laughs> that's the most reliable lighter in the world. I would say that I would throw it in, but I wouldn't risk sending it across the pond. The last time I did that, the whole package got nicked. Wow. Out. That's just stupendous. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Which tin is it you want, Art?
people, this is true, true YTPC generosity happening now. Okay, people, I'm sure you're all going to agree to this. The Balkan Blue's going out. The dog's going out. And, wow, Art, your generosity is just fantastic. Wow. Okay. Um, we're selling this as a as a um, as a as a pot. Do you want the pipe too, uh, Eric? Fantastic. Are you happy, with Eric, at two twenty for what's left on the table? Say the pipe, sorry. Oh yes, the pipe. Okay, sorry, I missed that. Okay guys, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, okay, let me just see what I've got. Hang on. Okay, I think I'm going to do you one better. If you'll leave your bid of 220 in, Eric. Um, this is something very special to me. And um, it's been sitting in my cellar almost since the day I started smoking a pipe. And this is one of the older tins of Jermaine's special Atakir Flake. from 2016. Um, I'm going to put this in. We leave the, uh, Eric, is your is your bid still good at 220? Anybody else want to improve on that? This is the whole pack now. We're, if if Eric is um, okay, let me just be clear. Art, if I understood you correctly, you said you wanted the dog, the pipe, and the Balkan blue. Okay? And your bid was two, whatever it was. Uh, where are we? 210. Yeah, is that, am, I, am I correct there, Art? That you were going to pay 210 for those one, two, three items. Is that correct? Just want to be clear and make sure everybody's happy. Okay, so those are yours. I hope everybody's okay with that. So I'm just reshifting the items and now I'm offering one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tins of tobacco. Look, I'm, I'm going to, I don't know, I, I just feel bad because it's kind of shifted a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw something else in. This is a, a pipe that was gifted to me, which I wouldn't ordinarily have given away because it was gifted to me. But because this is a, essentially a charitable auction, um, I'm sure that the guy who gave it to me, which is Mike Blocker, um, he, this is a, a, an Edwards pipe a beautiful Canadian pipe, which he rusticated. This is a, a gorgeous Edwards pipe. I'm putting this into the pot now. Because originally, this, was, this, was, this package was having a pipe. Now, because Art has so generously made the offer that he has, I just feel that I should um, make sure that there's a pipe that goes with it. I'll just give you a closer look. Focus, there we are. Done a great job on rusticating it. It's 
very lightweight, a beautiful Edwards Canadian in fantastic condition. Guys, seriously, and there's special after key flakes in there as well. 250 pound, anybody? Anybody want to say 250 and we'll bring the auction, we'll take final bids and then we'll close the auction. I'll do the shipping, no charge for the shipping. All right, look, I'm going to sweeten it a little bit more. I don't know how long you guys have been following me. Um, this I got from Pipes and Kayaks. This is a, a tamper set and a scoop set. This was made, I've, this has always been on my desk. It's something which I treasure. This is uh, made from um, um, this is made from a salvaged ship which uh, Pipes and Kayaks broke up, took timber from it, and made a set of these. Now, he did a giveaway um, about a year and a half ago, something like that, and the prize for the giveaway was one of these sets. Uh, about half a dozen people entered into the giveaway, and in the end, he decided he's going to give everybody a set. Now, I didn't win the giveaway, but as one of the entrants, he sent me one of these as well. It's very special to me. Um, if somebody bids 250 then any bid, that bid or anything beyond it, will get this as well. So this is a really, you know, the package seems to be ever increasing. But I think we'll call it a day there in terms of the items. So if anybody wants to bid 250, Which the the pipe is not your style. That's very kind of you, Art. Thank you very much. I did see the notification come up. Thank you very much. Much appreciated, Art. You're a true gent. Don't think there's a, a better um, description and praise that I can give you. You're a true gent. Well, as it stands there, that's 220 for Eric. If I get a bit of 250, the pipe and the tamper set goes in. Anyone at 250, otherwise I'm going to close at 220. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tobaccos at 220 pounds going once. Two hundred and twenty pounds going twice. Drum roll. Two hundred and twenty pounds sold. Well done, Eric. Thank you very much. Also a true gent. Um, if anybody's interested, we can sell these separately. Anyone want to uh, start me off on a bid? This little mountain of joy belongs to Eric. And this little mountain of joy belongs to Art. Ruff! 
Does anybody want to make a bid on these two items? Um, to pay, I'm going to just send you my email address. And just PayPal friends and family to that address. Cheers, Elwood. I'm going to throw in a tin. I don't really know what it is. I got this in the Israeli sale. It's a vintage, um, yes, PayPal, please, friends and family. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, is it together or separately? I, I, to be honest, I'm, I'm easy either way. I'm just... If I can maximise the money, I, I don't care which way it goes, to be honest. If you just want the pipe, give me a bid. And if Elwood's happy with that, we'll do it separately. I, as long as everybody's happy, I'll do it whichever way you want. So, uh, I don't know what this is. Um, but I know that in in, uh, in Europe, there's quite a few people who've... Because uh, I've, I've sent one of these on to one of my viewers. Um, and they were over the moon to get this because it's not available anymore. But I'll be perfectly honest with you, I don't know what it is. Maybe I can find a different tin. Hold on. Oh, I know. I know what I'll do. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that, Elwood. We can leave it on both. Okay, so um, I've got actually a, a nice vintage tin of tobacco, which uh, I'm going to show you in a minute once we've finished the bidding on this pipe. I've got a, a tin of tobacco from 1999, so near enough 20 years old. It's an old vintage tin of old Ironside from 1999, February 99. Um, hi Todd, um, you missed the main auction I'm afraid. So the, the main tobacco is gone and um, we received very generous bids from Pipes and Spirits from Art and also from Eric Quest. Um, so at the moment what we have is a beautiful Canadian pipe which I got from Mike Blocker which he rusticated um, and it's going together with this tamper and scoop set made handmade by um, Khakis, old khakis, not pipes and kayaks, old khakis. Sorry, I got my names mixed up. I don't know if any of you guys have seen his videos. He hasn't made a video for a long time. Um, but a, a, a fantastic gentleman. Um, as I say, he made these, he made these by hand from uh, salvaged timber from shipwrecks. If you guys want, I can put together more tobacco um, to, to sell. Just, if you want, I can find some interesting stuff, put it on the table, and just, you know, if I get a reasonable bid, I'll sell it. Is that of interest, or should we call it a day? Um, Berg, if you want, if you're looking for some esoterica, I don't mind putting some esoterica on the table. Get a reasonable bid, it's yours. Just let me know what you want to do. Um, this is a Canadian. Um, it's got a, a longer shank and it's also got a flat oval shank, which generally makes it a Canadian. But it's the same idea as a billiard, yes, but it's elongated with an oval shank.
Can I interest anybody in a bag of Woodridge? If anybody's interested, bag of Woodridge, that's from 2017, Ironside from 1999. I've also got a, a lovely tin of Brebbia Latakia Flake from 2010. I get a decent bid, you can have it. Woodbridge is a vapor. Um, I believe it's a vapor. It may have a slightly uh, fruity topping on it, if I remember correctly. I can't remember it precisely. Elwood, I'm 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 at your at your uh, mercy. Um, so. At the moment, your bid of 40 is for the pipe and the tampers. Originally, this was, you know, this was just going to be the auction for the original amount of tobacco which was in my original video earlier today. But with a captive audience, um, and I'm kind of in the zone, and this is all being donated. So, as I said, 100, we're going in pounds, um, pounds sterling, and 100% of the money that is made tonight goes to Danny Shaw. At the moment, we're on over 400 pounds at the moment. So I'm really, really ecstatic. And Art, I can't thank you enough for your lovely gesture earlier on. A hundred pounds for for this lot. I need. I think I need to to, to have a little bit more than that. Uh, the esoteric has got to be worth a bit more than that. And this aged tobacco, it's, it's got to be worth more. I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to be uh, nasty or anything like that, but it's got to be worth more. If you want it all as a, as a complete, um, as a complete bid, you've got to be looking at around 150 pounds minimum. Anyone want to take this lot for £150? If not, we're on a bid of £40 for these two items. Um, I, I, again, I apologise that it's not structured and I'm kind of just being as fluid as I can and really just to maximise the income. Originally the plan was the original tobacco over there and that's sold. So I'm just going with the flow, so please don't be offended. Um, Elwood, I'm not trying to outdo you on these two items. Um, just trying to go with the flow here, so thank you, Elwood, thank you. <laughs> Fair enough, Elwood. Um, 60 on the Woodbridge. To be honest, um, I'm going to say no. Um, again, not to be nasty, but I think it's worth more than that. And also, from my perspective, um, this is all being donated. And that being the case, I want it to get a fair price so that I can at least give a decent amount to Danny. Um, so please bear that in mind that this is, for me anyway, more about raising money than earning money. I'm not earning a penny, this is all going to Danny, so I'll, I'll, um, see, 60 pounds is, is about 40 or 60 dollars is about 40 pounds, it's, it's, it's nowhere near enough for me, I'm sorry. Um, I'd be looking really for about 80 pounds, maybe 70 pounds I'd go with, but
Well, if you want to help, £80 would be a good bid. So it's perhaps a little bit more than its value, but it will also... Uh, that's £80, pounds, um, two rivers, yeah? Cheers, cigar fan. Can I interest you in some cigars? Seriously, cigar fan, would you be in the, have any interest in some cigars? Okay, so the Woodbridge is going to... Um, I would actually appreciate it if somebody could make a note of this, because and then just type it into the um, um, thing, because I'm, I'm not writing this down. So the Woodbridge is going to... Um, two, two Rivers folk, uh, folk at £80. Pounds. If I could trouble you each to email me afterwards at the same email address. Any of you interested in some cigars? Cubans? No, they're not regular. Um, although I do... I do um, have sales every so often, more, not going to really be that often anymore because I've really sold what I want to sell. Um, I do have some pipes still left that will go for sale at some point, but I'm not in any urgent uh, rush to sell them now. Um, I was selling stuff before my daughter's wedding. That's done now. She's gone. She's flown the nest. Um, but um, this is really all about raising some money for Danny. So if anybody's interested in some Cubans, I'll go and dig some out. Thank you very much, Scarf Fan. Right, look, I think we should wrap this up. Um, so at the moment, we're still at... Um, 40 for these two with Elwood, unless somebody wants to increase the bid. Alternatively, I'm oh, sorry, that's already gone. So that's where we're at. Okay, I think we'll take that. Okay, so we're going to say £40 for this two set, and I'm going to bring that to a close now. So £40 for the pipe and the tamper set going once. £40 for the pipe and tamper set going twice. Forty pounds for the pipe and ten percent sold. Well done, Elwood. Eric, thank you very much for your payment that has been received. Elwood, you've got my uh, PayPal address. If you could each please email me with your postal addresses, I'd be most grateful. I'll get those off to you in the next few days. Um, two Rivers Folk, £80, please, if you wouldn't mind, to send it to... Um, I'm really so proud that all of you guys have... Um, Boris, <laughs> welcome, welcome. You've woken up. Thank you for joining. Um, all in a good cause. When I see this on Art's desk, it'll remind me that we've helped a good friend of ours on the YTPC in his time of need. And I'll always be proud of that. I've said that about my pipes in the past. Um, people have asked me in the past, how can you sell your pipes? You know, 
doesn't it bother you that you won't have that particular pipe anymore? And in the beginning, um, in the beginning I was, you know, sometimes I did have regrets about pipes that I'd passed on, but um, I've come to completely change um, in that. And, um, and I'm really just happy that they go to a place where they're going to get used more. Um, so these things, no, it doesn't bother me anymore. Um, and I'm just happy that it's gone in, in, in the process of raising money for a friend. So thank you all. Really, thank you very, very much for taking part. Um, I don't know if he has a GoFundMe page, to be honest. Uh, I'm not aware of one. Uh, I wouldn't pass the dog around too much. Um, uh, the dog is, is being glued on to the base there, but I don't know how solid it is. Um, just if that's of any interest, it says on the back there, well, I can't even read it. It's made in Italy. It feels like it's made of some kind of earthenware. Not exactly sure what. Yes, absolutely. Um, definitely. Uh, thank you, um, Elwood. Forty pound received. Um, yeah. So Ben, the bagged piper, um, he's running a raffle. Um, I don't know how many spaces he's got left. Um, he was going to go up to a hundred raffle tickets at five dollars a piece. So I don't know where he's up to with that. Um, yeah, so I think that's basically us for tonight, people. So that's one lot, that's another lot. That's another lot, and that's another lot. Well done, everybody. Seriously. Very, very well done. Art, I was speaking to um, Eric earlier on. And we were talking about uh, your uh, analytical videos of late, and we were talking about possibly asking you to to start look into why some smokes um, are more moist than others. And I don't mean the tobacco. Sometimes you smoke, and you get a lot of liquid in the pipe, and sometimes you don't. And uh, just curious, what causes it? Is it more about the tobacco? Is it more about the pipe structure, the internal structure of the pipe, that kind of thing? So if that's something that you could uh, get into, that would be quite cool. But anyway, that's uh, a different matter. Okay, well, it's now 20 past one in the morning, and I have to get up at around a quarter past six. So if I get to bed soon, I might get about five hours sleep. So everybody... Thank you very, very much. Um, so fantastic. Uh, just really... Um, really, really very much appreciate it. Art, again, thank you very much for your generosity. A really fantastic um, gesture from you. Um, I don't know what an e-transfer is, um, if it's simple enough. Um, but I'd rather, to be honest, it was PayPal so that I can... Uh, um, I think you can just go onto PayPal's website and you can send me money to that email address without having PayPal. It's just a lot simpler because then I can transfer it straight over to Danny's PayPal account. Um, if you if you just go onto PayPal, www.paypal.com, um, I'm sure there's a button on there which says send money. Click on that and um, it'll just debit your card. It'll ask you for your card details. It's perfectly safe. Um, and just send me the money to that email address. I think you can do that without a PayPal account. Um, Joe, you've been very quiet. Okay, I'm just gonna write things down. So if you guys could just uh, verify what I write down. Thank you, Eric, very much appreciated.
Okay, so the first. Um, okay, so we've got uh, art, pipes, and spirits. Has the dog, the Orlick pipe, and the Balkan blue, and the main tobacco went to Eric Quest. Is that right? So that's the special Latakia flake, the vintage Syrian. Dorchester nine six five artisans. And the cult. And of course the Esoterica Hastings. Okay, and then we have the Woodbridge going to to two rivers folk. Two rivers folk wood bridge and to Elwood we have the Tampa and the Edwards pipe. So that was two twenty. That was two twenty. That was eighty, and that was forty. So it's two four forty four eighty. Well, if my calculations are correct, we raised five hundred and sixty pounds, which is unbelievable. Five hundred and sixty pounds equates to seven hundred and forty seven dollars. That's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. It's unbelievable. I, c I, I, I wish I could be there when Danny gets that ping from PayPal. Wow. That's just amazing. Wow. 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 Okay, guys. Um, it just remains for me to say thank you. I'm going to be doing a transfer of the money that I've received so far. I'm going to do that straight away to Danny. And um, once again, please email me your details. Even if you've emailed me in the past, just to make my life a little bit easier, if you don't mind. Just email me your handle so I know who you are, your real name and address, and the items. Um, and I'll get those off to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much, everybody. Um, where are we? Just do some thank yous. Thank you, Eric. Um, so, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Two Rivers Folk. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Quaker Pipe. Martin Williams. Josh Elwood. Art. Ben Perryman. Axel Tudor. Thank you very much for joining. I don't know if you're still there. Um, Pipes and Bees. Cigar Fan. And everybody else who joined us, thank you very much for making this a wonderful, wonderful experience. It's very much appreciated and going to a fantastic cause. Thank you very much. Good night. And I'll catch you on the next, next one. Good night, Tree. Sorry, I missed you there. And the money's coming from uh, Two Rivers Folk. Thank you very much. That's, that's uh, arrived, so thank you for that. Um, so all of that's going straight over to Danny. Wow. It's exciting stuff. Thank you very much, everybody, once again. Catch you on the next one.